family what's up what's going on this is the phoenix cloud tarot thank you so much for joining me my name is isa i'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and i'm doing the darn thing today for gemini sun moon rising venus and the cross watcher this is going to be your general love reading for the week so please uh keep in mind that not all of the messages are going to resonate for every single person so please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't okay if nothing resonates at all here in your sun sign, Gemini, check your other placements. And if those don't resonate for you, then feel free to check out the older readings. Down in the description box is where you can find me on other social media outlets. It's also where you can make a donation to my channel if you choose to do that. And I want to say thank you in advance if you do. All right. Or if you have. Um, and I also uh, have a lot of the cards that I use in my readings down there too because people have asked me, uh, before you know what cards am I using so you can buy them from down there that link down there okay um, and last but not least guys I do not do personals I haven't done them for a long time I'm not doing them now I don't have any plans to do them very soon um, I'm working on creating more time in my life to actually do them so please um, you know when I do open it I will announce it please be weary of people who are telling you they're me okay and offering and even the whatsapp comments that end up in there i try to get to those and delete them as soon as i can but i can't get to everyone all right so don't get yourself into trouble with people who are not me all right i won't reach out to you anyway and uh please don't forget to um subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and the notifications bell on the top it'll tell you every time i'm uploading all right and if it doesn't if you don't get pop-ups then i will be in your feed so you can easily access my videos and don't forget to show some love if any of it does resonate okay share it subscribe to it like it put it out into the universe all right thank you so much for being here guys i really do appreciate it all right let's go gemini you're my last reading for the night yes libra's reading was powerful if you have libra in any of your uh placements definitely check that reading all right what's going on with gemini okay all right show me what's going on with gemini in love okay what do you what are you learning here what's the information you just found out here gemini what's the information y'all found out oh lord of mercy okay ace of cups i like this hopefully it's not a second chance with somebody we don't like gemini okay but um oh you got somebody here checking you out oh ooh, 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 ooh. and they are realizing mm, gemini is just out here looking like a, a succulent little cactus okay one of them nice juicy aloe veras looking like a little hershey kiss okay um but i think that there's somebody that you could be interested in okay and you're realizing that it could be somebody that you're you know paying attention to lightly stalking please feel free to reverse the sides too okay gemini but there's some sort of new love that's coming in into your life okay the teaching you something making you realize something as well what is gemini's person thinking and feeling who is this person show me oh oh i don't mind it i mean this person's uh contemplating hey guys i'm so sorry my phone literally shut off in the middle of recording i don't know what the heck happened here but i kept going and i was like bah, 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 and like nothing was recording okay and then it just it literally shut down it back on so let's talk about what came out for your person they have the four of wands the queen of wands and the hangman this person is contemplating uh, a nice stable future with you is what i think here okay the this pisces hangman is not giving me the vibe like this person's stuck or anything they're really seeing the best of you um they like what they see they're coming with a lot of passion okay they're motivated to really be with you all right. I feel like they're really checking you out and they're just like, okay, this is either you are already with this person and you just met them or this person wants to approach you. Okay. Um, but I feel like you might've just met this person. All right. Um, and so then I had these cards come out. We have the six of swords, the nine of swords. There could be distance between you two guys. I'm sorry. I got to get my bearings again because that was crazy. Like, and then I started recording again and it stopped. So, um, 
this right here, uh, for me, what I really felt was that, um, you guys, there's might be a lot of anxiety between the two of you because you live at a distance or you have to travel to see each other. Okay. Um, but I do feel a level of stability here. This person's going to be willing to work on this connection and work on whatever it takes. Both of you are going to put in the work to make this connection happen, even though it's very stressful and it, you know, may make somebody feel a lot of anxiety to be away, you know, from the other person. But I see nothing but good things here so far. The energy can shift as we um, go ahead and clarify, but uh, I don't feel like it's going to very much. Okay, so what's your challenge? What's the challenge here for Gemini regarding this connection, please? What's the challenge for Gemini? Okay. Um, the Hermit and the Hierophant, <laughs> which is very interesting, uh, Taurus energy and Virgo energy. And I feel like, guys, this is, you know, I think you are doing a lot of soul searching about higher levels of commitment here. Okay. So for you, if you're not the type of person who believes in marriage or wants to be married, this person might want that with the four of wands. Okay. They might want an engagement. They might want something like that. And you guys have different belief systems. So this could be a challenge for you. Okay. With the Hierophant and the, and the, um, and the hermit, because one of you could be very like more religious and the other is very spiritual. Okay. And you have both have rules, right? So that could be part of your challenge. And knowing what you really want. Do you want a higher level of commitment with this person or not? Okay. What's the advice here, please, for Gemini? What's the advice here? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to take it. High Priestess. Temperance. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Yep, look, somebody's coming here with an offer, okay? Seven of Swords. Some of you might be in another connection that you are willing to get the hell out of to be with this because this is a thing that you've been waiting on for a long time and you know that it's going to be very successful. Look, Two of Cups. You definitely have a beautiful connection that's coming in here, soulmate connection, okay? I like this energy. Why do we have the page of swords? It's going to be somebody, like I said, that is watching you on the internet or you're checking this person out. Okay. Why is the page of swords here? This is also a student, a person who speaks the truth and is very honest about their thoughts and feelings. Why do we have the page of swords? <clears throat> King of wands. Okay. Are you the one who approached this person? <laughs> Did you approach them? I feel like maybe you approached this person. Temperance. Oh, this could be somebody that you've reconciled with before, but um, I feel like you might have approached this person because you feel good about them. They're like, you know, like, um, like healthy for you. It's a healthy relationship. And I think you know that you want to be in a healthy relationship, especially with a person like this who's ambitious like you are. And we do have a true pair out here. We have the King of Wands and they're seeing you as the Queen of Wands. So you're also seeing them that way. This person is very healing for your soul or nurturing, okay? They teach you a lot about yourself or they're going to if you haven't met them yet. Why is the Ace of Swords here? This is about clarity, you know, clear decisions and epiphanies too. Four of, yeah, don't try to control this, okay? Four of Pentacles came out. But I think you really want to hang on to um, to this particular connection, okay? Um, you might feel a little bit guarded, but you I feel like you, you know. You know that there's something about this person, okay? Um, you do have the Two of Pentacles, so it could tell me that there's some sort of juggling back and forth in your mind, you could be going back and forth in your mind about whether or not you want to really get involved or not. But I feel like, you know, it's your intuition would be screaming at you with this person with the Ace of Cups. Okay. Why do we have the Ace of Cups, please? It's 
Ten of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. This is coming after a long, hard relationship. And that may be why some of you might go back and forth about whether or not you want to try to go all the way or not all the way with this person. Does that, how do I, how do I say that? You might be a little bit back and forth about whether or not you want to go directly into a serious relationship or not, okay? Because some of you might be coming off the cuff of a really hard time. So you don't want to use this person as a rebound. Does that make sense? That's what I feel like. You might have actually approached them because you thought they were attractive or you saw them on the internet or something like that. Um, you know, but I think you're being very honest with this person. Like, I don't want, you know, I want to make sure that I'm all good before I get deeply involved because I've been hurt by somebody else in the past. You just ended a relationship. Some of you. Okay. Um, it could be that this, this is possibly somebody who wants to reconcile and they're trying to offer the ring. All right. I'm not, I'm not beyond telling it like it is. All right, guys. Why is the four of wands here, please? Why is the four of wands here for this person? Why do they have four of wands, please? I get destination wedding for some of you. Did I say that? I think I said that when I thought the camera was actually working again. King of swords. Ooh, this person knows deep down. Oof, oof. They know they manifested you. Okay. Somehow, some way, this person knows that they were, they were meant to be in this connection with you. They manifested you. Okay. They're, they know the truth. They know what this connection is all about. Why is the queen of wands here, please? Why is the queen of wands here? Three of wands. They were ready for you. Oh my God. This person, I love this. You guys, seriously. Wow. Queen of wands, three of three of wands in the world. This person is ready for a new beginning with you. If this is somebody who wants to reconcile, they want to reconcile with you. Okay. And they want to bring their A game. They're not going to play around. They know what they lost the first time and they're going to really put the work in, which is why some of you may be going back and forth about whether or not you want to actually be in the connection with this person, because there is something about wanting to hang on with them. They are a perfect match for you in a lot of ways, right? And for others of you, this is a new connection and this person is seeing you as the everything. They're like, you complete me, okay? And they were ready. They were looking and ready and waiting. And some of them may have been waiting exactly just for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people be weird like that, but you're the person that they've been waiting for. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Why we got a hangman? Ten of Wands, judgment. Yeah, if this is a person who uh, you were already with, this person puts you through a lot of shit, okay? And probably uh, when you guys split up, they ended up going through some things. So um, maybe they got a taste of their own medicine, all right? They've had some sort of awakening. They've had time to really look at this. They could be Pisces. Um they could be, they could be, um, Aries. They could be Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius for sure. Pisces. Okay. This person, I feel like they went through something and they're starting to realize that they put you through a lot with the, with the, uh, 10 of wands. Okay. It's like they might've left the situation and struggled a lot and they realized, you know, I put them through a lot and I want a second chance and they're serious about it. Okay. They're serious about making it happen. So for some of you, this could be a second chance for some of you. This is a new love. This person has been through their own series of different things. Okay. And they've dealt with a lot of burdens in relationship too, but they're very clear now, right? They've come through a lot of different things and they've learned a lot of lessons and they've let go of a lot of heaviness in their life. And they're ready to be in a connection where they're really deeply, um, connected with a person and, and in love, like, a, a, I don't know why they said passionate love. But they said it that way. I don't know. Why is the six of swords here, please? Why is the six of swords here? Mm -hmm. Justice, Knight of Cups. Look, somebody's coming, coming at you. All right. 
So um, we have Justice and we have the Knight of Cups here. This is a proposal, okay? Somebody may be traveling to see you to propose to you. Um, and like I said, destination wedding, okay? Because we have Justice, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, Libra energy. This is somebody who wants to give you what you deserve, okay? If they left you before, they want to give you what you deserve now because they don't want to lose you, okay? They want to make peace with the situation, Six of Swords, and give you what you truly deserve, all right. They want to give you a higher level of commitment, romance, marriage. They want to tell you sweet nothings. All right. And if this is a new person, <laughs> baby, you might live at a distance from this person, but this person is coming and they are coming fast and hot. Okay. Hot and heavy. They are really in love with you. Uh, they want to take this to the next level. And I think they want to come and show you that or tell you that. Why is the nine of swords here? So I have two scenarios. I have a brand new love and I have uh, the rekindling of a love that somebody really, really wants with you. Okay. Why is the nine of swords here? Five of swords. Somebody lied about something. King of pentacles. They might've lied about how much money they had or whether they wanted to be in a relationship in the past. Okay. If this was, if this is the person who you, uh, who wants to reconcile with you, then this person might have been in another relationship, okay? And they needed to leave out of that relationship to be with you and they didn't at the time or they might have acted as if they wanted to be in a relationship, but they may have not really wanted to be in the relationship, okay? So they were deceitful. They created some drama and some tension in the connection, and it really stressed you out is what I feel like, all right? Now, if this is a new person, I feel like this is somebody who's coming in with a lot of stability and, um, you know, patience and discipline, and this is going to show you that you don't have anything to worry about, okay? Because I feel like some of you might default to the past where somebody took advantage of you and hurt you, you know, and played head games with you, all right? And it's okay to be nervous, but don't let that take over you, all right? Because you have a beautiful opportunity here for those of you who have a new person coming in who are not giving another person a second chance. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Now we have the king and the queen of pentacles. We have the king and queen of wands, and now we have the king and queen of pentacles. Chariot. Oh, hell yeah. Moving forward. Um, this is going to change a lot in your life. This is going to be a huge change. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot and the Death card, Scorpio and um, Cancer are out here. All right. This is going to end a lot of um, like... I feel like it's going to end a lot of you maybe feeling some type of uh, insecurity or like this person's going to prove to you that there actually are still good women. There are still good men that are out there, right? There are people who have morals and conduct themselves properly and they want to do things the right way, okay? You're going to move forward with this and this is going to be a very beautiful change in your life. I don't want to say life-changing, but I do because you have two majors here. All right, things are going to move very quickly as soon as you decide that you want to be with this new person. And it's going to be the same thing. This person is, uh, this other person that you were dealing with that wants to come back, they want to end the old stuff and they want to change everything and they want to move very rapidly into the connection with you again. Okay. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Herophant the star. I mean, Aquarian energy. There's majors all over here. Whether this is a brand new love or somebody coming back, this is a huge major thing in your life. Okay. It's an important decision. It's a, it's a big major energy shift here. Um, and it's really, really nice. Actually, this person really wants to work on things with you and you with them with the Herophant again, re reiterating, you know, um, our belief systems and with the starts having faith, you know, having faith that maybe God or whatever it is that you guys believe in brought this thing together. Um, and that maybe in counseling, right, you can fix it if, if you're um, with the person who is coming back into your life wanting a reconciliation, okay, because you know, they spying on you and all sorts of stuff. All right. Now, for others of you, if this is a new person, this person is going to work really hard. They have a very good work ethic. This is like a dream come true to be with this person, I feel like, okay? And they really do want a commitment. You may be from different religions or different, have spiritual backgrounds, like I said, okay? But that's not going to be a problem. You guys are going to work any of that out. 
and I feel like, you know, it's going to be worth it for you. Even if you're up against this challenge, maybe some of you like being alone right now and you're not ready. You're new, you, you know, part of you is like, oh my God, but why would I pass up this opportunity? It happens when you're, when you feel like you're comfortable, uh, -uh get down and not ready with where you, you know, being with somebody who wants to be that serious. Okay. Why is the hermit and the hierophant? Why are they here, please, for the, for the challenge? The lovers. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm. This is so much. It's so beautiful. Like, this is great. Whoever this new person is, the lovers of relationships, soulmates, okay? Guys, recognize. Don't sleep on this, okay? This is about your challenge is recognizing that this is a soulmate relationship. Okay, that this is a maybe a twin flame relationship. It's Gemini energy. Be in your power, guys. Be stand in that spiritual power of yourself. Okay. This is really, really super beautiful. Like, what a connection is happening here. This is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Get down, child. This cat, I tell you, she's something else. Okay. So we have temperance and we have the high priestess, uh, but the high priestess is in reverse. And I don't really like that as far as the advice. So we're going to take a look at it. Okay. Temperance is balance, having patience. I would, I feel like it's being unsure of yourself. Okay. Why do we have this um, high priestess here, please, in reverse? The hermit, soul searching, introspection. I feel like you guys take your time, okay? If you're not ready to rush into something, take your time with temperance. Your intuition might be off a little bit, so make sure that you dive into this, okay? And if you're getting back with this person, I feel like that's that's what it's saying. Your intuition may feel like it's off for whatever reason, maybe just because it's such an interesting situation with somebody to come back and really try to show you that they really want to be with you for some of you, that it might throw you off, okay? So go within and listen to yourself. Okay, listen to your listen to your heart, the deepest parts of you. Why is temperance here? It's to have patience. Yeah, you have a soul connection. Whether it's a brand new person, oh, ten of cups. You guys, oh my god, wow. Stop, Sachi. Stop. Stop. She's literally attacking me. Okay, so you definitely have a beautiful soul connection with this person. Okay. And I feel like this is. This is kind of saying, you know what, you need to trust yourself, give yourself time to uh, kind of see this as it really is. Go within yourself, you know what I'm saying? Really soul search before you get yourself involved in this connection and see whether or not you're really truly ready to take your life to another level with somebody, okay? Whether it's a person coming back or it's a new person coming into your life because it can be all very overwhelming, right? It can but I would also say don't pass up this opportunity because it's a very beautiful one. All right. I almost want to say test, test them to see if they are who they really are. Just to make sure. Or if they're going to put the work in. What else do we have here, please, for Gemini? Okay, broke up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. That's what I feel like happened with this one person, okay? You guys broke up and this person wants to come back. Yep, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. I feel like this person has been watching you, okay? And you have abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. I feel like um, with this new connection, uh, for those of you who are in the new connection or wanting the new connection, it's going to be very abundant and very positive. Hey! Sorry, guys. She's climbed my furniture. I know. Please don't complain about my cats, okay? Please. You don't know my situation. You don't know how big or small my place is. Please, guys, all right? Because people are like, don't pay your cats. I can't help it. Other readers do the same thing too. They have to tend to their kids or their cats. Same difference for me. 
This is a very beautiful spiritual connection, guys. So I want you to keep in mind, honestly, you know, like connect with your own soul, with your own heart. Okay. Don't miss this connection because you're busy focusing out and being all stressed about like whether, you know, like, are you ready for this or not? Sometimes we just get to like surrender into the love. You know what I'm saying? That can be hard when we've been through a lot of things. And when people come into our lives that are new and they're showing us something we've never seen before, it can set us off. You know, it can make us not trust our intuition when we really need to trust our intuition. It can put us in a tailspin. And two, you know, there are certain things that it's like, are we willing to sacrifice that one thing to have all the other things we ever wanted? Maybe this is some sort of belief. You guys are just different spiritually or something. You're different when it comes to, um, you know, some of the principles that you have. Some, you know what I mean? The, the main ones I feel like are there. This is a really good connection for you guys. And this person wants to take it next level. Are you ready for that? Okay. So if any of this resonated for you guys, I want to thank you first for being here. If any of this resonated for you at all, please show your girls some love. Definitely, um, you know, hit the love button. Comment down below if you feel like sharing and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye.